transfer kind of news um, video that we've ever done. Um, it's going to be on um, signing with William Brewster on um, a half um, long loan. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to be giving you our uh, views on it. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so um, to start off with, as you can see, um, he's been pictured in a swan shirt as obviously he's been signed. And um, there's a few articles um, to show for it um, as well. So we'll put some of them up on the screen whilst we're talking. But um, yeah, this would be a really good signing for us. Um, we've been linked with them for ages. It's a shame, obviously, we couldn't have got him in um, the summer transfer window because we would have kept him longer. But we've got him. Um, obviously, he's a really good player because he's been doing um, well at Liverpool in the, um, the Liverpool ranks. Um, obviously, he would be playing in the under 23s, the youth squad, and obviously, he was with, in the squad when Liverpool won the Champions League. So he's a very good player. Um, quite experienced for 19 years old. He's played in some good competitions and won some good trophies. So yeah, that's my thoughts for Shorts. Um, yeah, I think it's a decent signing because obviously he's obviously played under Cooper before in the under 17s, I think it is. So there's a bit of um, team chemistry there. And also he's obviously played with Jan Dan at Liverpool, so more chemistry there. So hopefully they can work together as a team and hopefully um, he can score a great number of goals for us this season because... Obviously, we've needed um, a new striker since obviously Sam Serge was recalled from his loan uh, from yeah. Bournemouth, so we've needed that kind of backup as Borgia hasn't been, been scoring goals for us really this season. So I think it should be a decent sign in. Obviously, we can't really get too held up by it. Obviously, he's still young. He's not played in. I know he's a competitive player, he's been in some competitive tournaments, but he's not been starting competitive games, no. like such as derbies or league games. So I think this is like his first test in the championship. So obviously we need to give him some time, and hopefully he can get used to it. And obviously the Cardiff game is coming up, yeah. so um, I'm I'm sure he'd love to start in that game. And yeah. obviously we heard him talking about on his interview about how much he'd love to start that game. So hopefully yeah he will be in that game. And yeah, it's a decent signing, so I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, and um, touching on what you said about him working under Cooper, um, they won the World Cup the under 17s in that particular tournament and he finished top scorer I think in that tournament so he can score goals at a high level I know it's under 17s but it's still a World Cup so hopefully he can do something for us um, champion, uh, championship move is exactly what he needs um, just to boost a bit of confidence really um, and then when he's back at Liverpool hopefully he can do a good job for them um, but yeah championship move is exactly what he needs um, and it's quite a good point to come in obviously if he does play on Sunday, his first game will be a derby, which will be great atmosphere to see if he can handle the pressure, uh, to see even if he can, um, even if he can come up with a vital moment, and you know it's a brilliant game to to start off with. Um, it'll be a re really pressurising game for him, but hopefully he can deal with the pressure. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be a r great signing because now that we've got players um, that can play around him, as you said, Yan Dander. Um, because obviously they played together at Liverpool, and maybe him and Borja could link up. Um, but yeah, would you like to see him play with any other players in particular? Um, yeah, I'd like him to maybe link up with um, Selena, because I think yeah. Selena, I think this season he hasn't really been one of our most creative players, but I think he honestly is when he puts his mind to it. So I'd like him to try and get some assists through to him, so they can link up well. Obviously, are you as well? I yeah. think those two would have a good goal scoring run between them. Um, because um, I he can't just he doesn't just score, but he also plays it as well. So I'd like him to also play along, alongside him, and yeah, yeah, I think that'd be quite good. Yeah, I think I'd like to, like to see maybe try and Brewster off the left, I on the right, and Borja up front with Selena just behind, because I think that would be a good front four to have. Could be deadly, good pace, good goal scoring ability, good creativity creativity between those four. So that would be a good um, a good front four, and hopefully. Um, Brewster will be playing against Cardiff. Um, I don't know if he will. Uh, obviously, I think he will be on the bench. Appearance off the bench wouldn't be bad for his first game, but you never know. Cooper could throw him straight in. I really doubt it. But yeah, Cooper could throw him straight in. But anyway, anyway that's it for this um, transfer news video. Um, we've also been linked with Casey Palmer, so if anything more comes on with that, we'll do a transfer news video for that. But um, yeah, this has been um, transfer news about Brewster. He's been a great sign in. And we'll next be back with a video for our Cardiff promo video and the Cardiff match preview. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, cheers.